Greetings, you scum. My name is Krusty, and welcome back to The Sims 4, the Rex to Riches tale, the story of Sebastian. Sebastian, he's always awake. Good, I'm glad you're awake. You're pretty much you're thinking it sucks. Oh! Because he smells very bad, as he would do, he's homeless. So, we're living in the park at the moment, but I think we should change things up. There's only so many things you can do in the park, after all. We should change things up. What exactly do I mean by that? Is I want to break into somebody's house, use their stuff, and possibly steal their stuff. See if I can kidnap someone, torture someone mentally, physically, just abuse them and ruin their lives, ideally. That's the plan today, to really make somebody suffer. So in order to do that, we need to get the hell out of here. We need to travel to a place with actual houses in it. Where we have our plot of land, if you remember, there is no house there. Because we're homeless. If I had a house, I wouldn't be homeless. That doesn't make sense. There is an army of gnomes. But that'll probably be more relevant at a later date. In fact, I intend it to be. <laughs> I've got plans. There's some really nice looking houses in this neighborhood, you know. I mean, there's there's the Spencer Kim Lewis family. They, I bet they're very very nice. Let's go and introduce ourselves. And you, you'll probably be invited in because you're a very very nice person, and people gravitate towards you because of your strong personality, not just your strong odor. Yeah, good job. Yeah, well, just let yourself in. It's a good idea. <laughs> no one answers, so he lets himself. Hi, uh, Sebastian, you're being followed, buddy. You're being followed. Understandably, you just walked into their house. Where's he going? He's probably going to sleep, right? Looks like he is. Uh, wait, no, don't, don't just... She doesn't even care. There's a strange man who smells just walked into your house. With your family in it, which you should probably want to protect, that he's just sleeping on the floor. For some reason, even though there are beds everywhere, Go, 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 go sleep in that bed which probably belongs to a child. <laughs> Claim that bed. Cl Claim the bed, bloody bed. Claim the child's bed, Sebastian. Is, yeah. <laughs> what is this? Okay. Well, apparently I, f I forgot to mention and just generally forgot that his sleeping attire is a hot dog outfit. And why wouldn't it be a hot dog outfit? Where does he keep the hot dog outfit? He's homeless. So he probably has very... He's snoring. I'm gonna skip forward in time now, buddy. And you're gonna wake up all happy and refreshed. You smell, you, you totally ruined that child's bed. But let's be honest, they got a lot of money. They aren't even... Oh, there's a child. Uh-oh. Hi, who are you? This is Sebastian. He's gonna be living with you now. She seems content with it. Who are these people? Don't worry, we'll introduce ourselves eventually. For the meantime, though, we seem to have attracted a small child, which is good because we can do a lot of things with a small child. You can you can put uh, you can use them as a table, and you oh wait, where's he going? Oh, he's going to use a computer. Why are you using a computer? What, what are you what are you doing? Is he on that? Naya! What what are you doing? Are you on that like, some kind of social media like Facebook equivalent? Are you? Don't go on Facebook. It's an evil, evil company run by an evil little wretched man. Ah, oh, you boss and snurg. Boss and snurg. Get off the bloody computer. Go to sleep. Claim that bed as well. Claim, claim the bed. I want, I want you to claim the bed. Yeah, don't, don't, don't go, don't go sleep and stand up. Just sleep in this bed. Look, this isn't a child's bed. This is a nicer bed. Make all the beds smell, and then afterwards, when you wake up, then my little hot dog. Then you can have a shower if you want. If we look after his hygiene, they might invite him in and he might live there. We also do need to strike a bond with this family, so we can live here problem free. Also, we can gradually torture them, make them regret ever opening their door. They didn't open the door, they just walked in. Oh, he's up! You're awake! That's, that's not necessarily a good thing, buddy, because, I mean, you're not, like, fully rested yet, you know? I think, I think he needs to introduce himself. After he's had a poop. Why is he afraid to have a poop? That looks like the most terrifying poo in the world. But what what is coming out of you? What is Puncher? Puncher? What is coming out of you? You just gonna stay in the hot dog outfit? I think he's just gonna stay in the hot dog outfit. Good, wash your hands. That's good. You got gloves on, but. Bonnie, not a. Oh, he's happy. He's happy! 
Who would have thought? All it would take to cheer him up would be to break into somebody's house and use all, all their services and appliances without permission. Well, keep practicing. Take a bubble bath. And walk past that, that mother and child uh, hugging and embracing. Oh, wow, he really stinks a lot. <laughs> he looks like such an angry baver. Don't be angry, there's bubbles. Ah, pushing! What are you doing? That's rude. No, don't, don't. Fine. Fine. <laughs> Gotta. Getting his penis out. What, what's your problem? Fine, let's, let's get to know. Friendly introduction, Sebastian. Friendly introduction. No, don't be sad. Where's he going? Did he just get kicked out? No, don't, don't, don't leave. Don't leave. Sebastian, do not leave. Introduce yourself kindly and then get to know him. You get an in. I know you're usually rude and mean and everything, but if you get... No, he's not leaving. He's just staring longingly over the glass bit. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, introduce yourself to him. Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Aha. I don't think he understands what you're saying, but keep keep talking anyway. Nibs, got a feb. Philbar. Oh, maybe. Uh. He's making a friend with an old man, and he's got plates and stuff out of nowhere. Where did you get that from? That girl is holding a bowl of peas. <laughs> that child really creeps me the hell out. Huh. So so. Oh. They just totally ignored you. I know how that feels. So what if he smells? He tried having a nice bubble bath and you kicked him out. Oh, don't be sad, Sebastian. The whole family's going to be sitting outside now for like the the, the, more, the breakfast or something. Where's he going? Is he going to go invite himself to breakfast? Yes. He He's just going to go out, help himself to some stuff. Okay. Don't worry. Yeah, this is... Eventually, they'll like you. It's like Stockholm Syndrome, right? But, like, different, because I invited myself in as opposed to being kidnapped and then eventually becoming infatuated with my kidnapper. No! I'm... I'm, I'm being kidnapped voluntarily and involuntarily on their part. Wait a minute. They're eating hot dogs. What kind of sick message is this? You think eating hot dogs and making me eat hot dogs is going to make me go away? Who's that? Who's that? There's someone walking outside your house. Should I shoot them? I don't have a gun. Do you have a gun? I'll shoot them. Maybe I'll dig a hole and they'll fall into it and there'll be spikes. And Fabi Narble. <laughs> Frange. <laughs> yes. 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 I don't know what she said. But the important thing is that he's making friends and they're gradually warming up to him. So let's, let's talk to this guy. We haven't spoken to this guy yet, so let's... Have a nice, friendly introduction once you're finished with your meal. Are you complaining about the smell? You are the smell, Sebastian. You are the smell. What's he doing now? <laughs> empty trash. No, don't worry about emptying the trash. It's not your house. You have to do anything. Where's he going? He likes emptying trash. Or just put it on the ground. Yeah, that's a better... That's a much better place for it. Good job. Put it on the ground. Take a brisk shower. Because they could interrupt you at any moment. But you gotta get the stench out so you could be more and more welcome. I keep forgetting you're bald on top because he's always wearing a hat, of course. Go to sleep. Du -du go to sleep. Go on. Oh, that's quick. Okay. Well, he's just taking little power naps, you know, just to get through. There's a gnome! We've successfully infiltrated the premises. Let's name this gnome. What do we call the gnome? I'm gonna, I'm, we're gonna name the gnomes. We gotta name him because we are Lord of the Gnomes and we have eyes everywhere. I'm gonna call him Frisbee. I don't know if at some point I can get progress to the point where they invite me to live with them and then I can edit the house and stuff. That's my goal right now, is to live with these people. Eventually they will love me. They will love Sebastian. They will cherish the day that I walked into their home collapsed on the floor and made a smell in their beds. Oh, what are you getting annoyed with here? Okay, enough is enough, I'm gonna ask. He's asking you to leave? Tway. <laughs> <laughs> he actually enjoyed it. Good. Punch him in the nose now. Tell a funny story, there you go, about a llama. Good job. People love llamas. 
Tell them about that and a urinal. Llamas and you. A llama, a llama walked into a urinal and there was a T-Rex in the urinal and the llama was like, Pfft. and it spat at the T-Rex and the T-Rex bit it and then like the police arrested the T-Rex but they couldn't get the handcuffs on the arms because the arms were too short. It's, it's a very funny anecdote. He acquired the comedy skill. Well, that's good. Use comedy as a mask to hide behind because you don't want to live in the real world and face the depressing truth of everything. Lanji, Lanji. Do they call the police eventually? Balco? Who's Balco Nara? No, I don't I don't know either. Do they call the police eventually if you've because he's asked me to leave now, but I'm refusing to leave. Now, what are you clapping? You need to try going to sleep again, buddy. Listen, how about having a nap? A nap could work, right? I can't have a decent okay, you're just gonna nap on the floor. Bonk. This guy's coming back into the bedroom again. That's good. You're in the fetal position. I'd worry about that, but he doesn't seem like a man that would take advantage. So that's good. He's getting in bed now. Wake up and sleep with the man. Wake up, Sebastian. There's a man in the bed that you don't know. You should sleep with him. So he's scared, but you can't even make him feel bad. <laughs> Prop Pampe. Um, now, maybe all Sebastian really wants is a mentor in life to help him get through the troubles that he faces. Maybe. Crimson Joba. Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> what? Well, you don't like it? He's just waking up. He's been very refreshing. Is that your wife? Why are you sleeping separate beds? Is there a problem in the relationship? I mean, sometimes you might sleep in separate beds because one of you or both of you snore and the other one can't sleep. That's fine. These kind of things happen. But maybe there are deeper problems that you need help with. Sebastian! A marriage counsellor. He could do everything. He's a man of many hats. It's not true. He only has one hat. Sebastian has learned he's a field a agent. Is he like a secret agent or something? Apparently he's not that interested in it. Wow. I broke into the house of a secret agent. I should be careful. He'll kill me because he's secretive. He, he's going to know how to cover it up. Go ask the wife if she's single. Axnoi Mipum? Bluffle. Hooray. Ah. Uh, she's married to Eric. That's not going to stop him, of course. Yibsy. Uh, what? Uh, maybe just not very good with women. Or maybe because she's married and she doesn't want to have an affair. <laughs> Fair enough. Invite to hang out at current lot. Interesting. If I can just invite everyone for my own little house party in this house, which is definitely mine, what could go wrong with that situation? Nothing. Yep, you're in a wedding dress. Good work. Trips. You look beautiful. Oh. There they are. Ah, oh, you boost a stir. Well, don't come into my house and insult me straight away. What is wrong with you? Talk to her. I, I can't remember her name. Uh, go, go. Uh, maybe I can romance her. Sebastian wishes for romance suddenly. It's a very sudden change, but that's what he wants. <laughs> she liked it. Your dress is filthy and you smell, but yeah, keep talking to her. Keep talking to her. Yep. You're interacting. Staring at her creepily while she's on the computer is also interacting, I suppose. Ask her if she's single. Ask her if she's single! This could this could be something, you know. This could it was meant to be, even, perhaps. Huh? She is single. Fantastic. Pick up line. Pick up line! Do the pick up line! It'd be like, we were like a couple and we'd invite ourselves in and take over the house. This would be our house. I have a home. Would you like to live in it? She didn't go for that because he smells. Do a little bit of flirting. See if that works. And if that doesn't... No, you smell too much. You smell too much. Okay, hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Hey, buddy. Take a bath. All right. S scrub off some of the smell. And then try again. This is a very awkward house, you know. I wouldn't have expected it when I, I broke into a house and just invited myself to live there. I wouldn't have expected that they wouldn't like... Ah, pushing! What, he's doing something about the smell? Come on, man. Go romance this woman and flirt with her. Maybe you'll have better luck now that you don't smell so bad. And <laughs> Fabi <laughs> 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 Frenoy. Okay, maybe not. You're having some trouble finding love right now. But there's one thing you can find loving, and that is yourself. So flirt with yourself in the mirror. There you go. 
Ah, At least he loves himself. He's happy with who he is. And at the end of the day, that's all that matters. You're not always going to find somebody to connect with on a deep level, though we all yearn for it. First, before you find that, you have to learn to love yourself. And that's what Sebastian is doing right now. He's learning to love himself. Sometimes in other people's beds, sometimes in their wardrobes, occasionally, occasionally he'll do it in the kitchen. But it's just important to not let other people get you down. <laughs> he went to sleep again. You know, I'm pretty sure that's going to be a concussion, the way your head just hit the ground like that. But whatever. Hey. I'm going to end this video here. Thank you very much for watching this episode of Sims 4 Rags to Riches. If you're enjoying this series, then please do go ahead and leave a like. Let me know in the comments what you thought of this episode. I just punched the desk, but that's fine. So thank you very much for watching. I shall see each and every one of you in the next videos. Goodbye.